I think I had the idea, the concept of putting Santa Claus on a cross from the early 60s. So when I say it's an adult painting, I said, well, I, I, I really didn't want my son to see this painting. So, so when he finally did come to the, into my studio and he, he turned the, he wanted, you know, he was probably curious why I was always pushing this thing. And he came to me and he, he said, Dad, why did you have to paint that one? And I, I, I didn't really have an answer at, at, at the moment. I felt, Christ, I, you know, he's still, you know, Santa Claus still meant something to him. So later in the day, I said, well, I said, let's talk about it later in the day. And I'll, um, you know, when I, I think I probably said something about, you know, that really wasn't only about buying presents and so on. And later that day, he comes to me and says, you know, Dad, I thought about, and you're right. I thought that was pretty extraordinary for a 10-year-old kid. And years later, I was not comfortable with putting this in the window of the Art Students League. And I told him, oh, it was too big, because I had said that I had the opportunity to do it. He he was very instrumental in saying, now, wait a second, just take the frame off, and then it won't be too big. So he, he kind of uh, pushed me. And so it has a history, well, this whole thing about every painting has a story and a story about it. But this, this story had really a lot to do with um, my son.